Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear's Adventure, story by Marilyn Van Wagner, written and illustrated by Tracy Van Wagner. Once upon a time, a long time ago, in a faraway land, lived an Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear named Willie. Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie was the smallest teddy bear in the whole village. But not the youngest, he had simply forgotten how to grow, and though he could walk, run, jump, and play right along with the other teddy bears, he was so very much smaller than they. This caused Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie no small amount of grief. The other teddy bear cubs made fun of him. They hid him under buckets and barrels and picked him up and tossed him back and forth. Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie felt terrible and wanted to prove that he was brave, even though he was small. One day, after being tossed into a tree, he decided it was time for action. Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie hit upon a grand plan. Maybe, just maybe, he was brave enough to carry it out. Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie would climb to the top of the highest peak where there was an eagle's nest. There he would steal an egg to prove his bravery. None of the other teddy bears messed with Mama Eagle. When she swooped into the valley, the bears ran and hid for fear they would be carried off in her sharp talons. Very early in the morning, when Mama and Papa Teddy Bear and the rest of the village were fast asleep, Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie stuffed his pockets full of cookies and set off on his quest. Up, up the mountain he climbed down, down on his little stubby legs. Boy, he didn't realize there were so many ups and downs in climbing the mountain, nor so many bushes and trees to go around and big tree stumps to scoot under and scramble over. Soon the sun came up and it got hotter and hotter. Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie ate his cookies and kept on going. Meanwhile, in the village far below, Mama and Papa Teddy Bear woke up and found Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie missing from his warm, cozy bed. Willie is missing! They sounded the alarm throughout the village and everyone set out looking for Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie. They looked under barrels and buckets, in holes and stumps, and every place they could think of. But Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie could not be found. They shouted and whistled, but to no avail. He had simply vanished. Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie's friends thought about how they had treated him. They realized they had been mean. If they could find him, they would tell him they loved him and make things right. Back on the mountain, Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie climbed even higher. Finally, he could see the nest on top of the peak. To his alarm, he also saw Mama Eagle. My goodness, she looked big and fearsome. Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie started to shake and quake in his little boots. He wondered if he'd been foolish to undertake such a quest. As he watched and waited, Mama Eagle stood up, spread her great wings, and flew out over the valley below. Farther and farther from the nest she soared, Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie took heart. Maybe, just maybe, he could still succeed in his quest. Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie crept closer to the edge of the nest and peered in, and he saw three very large eggs. Oh my, he whispered, they are bigger than I expected. How will I ever carry them down the mountain? He decided he had to try. He clambered into the nest and tried to lift them. They were so heavy and so big, and he was so tired from his long climb that he soon gave up. I'll just take a little rest, and then I can do it. Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear snuggled into the big, soft, feathers he found in the bottom of the nest and was soon fast asleep. The silent shadow swooped in. Suddenly, two piercing eyes searched the nest. Mama Eagle was startled to find an itsy bitsy teddy bear snuggled up with her eggs. What should she do? He certainly looked harmless. Mama Eagle hopped into her nest and settled down over the eggs and started to doze. Mama Eagle was awakened by an ever so slight tickling against her tummy. Shifting her weight, she peered down and saw two little brown eyes glistening with tears. Please, ma'am, don't be mad. I meant no harm. It's just, just, I wanted to do something really brave. And, and, with a quivering voice, the whole story tumbled from Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie. Well, now, we have to do something about this. Those gruff teddy bear cubs need to be taught a lesson. They should not pick on you because you are small. But I can't let you take one of my eggs to prove you are brave. Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie thought for a minute and came up with a plan. He only hoped he was brave enough. If you could please fly me back to my village, the other teddy bear cubs will see me in your long, sharp talons and know how brave I am. Mama Eagle smiled and winked while she stretched out her talons. Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie stood up on his little shaky legs and waited. Ever so gently, Mama Eagle held Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie in her long, sharp talons. With a swoosh of her wings, she flew out of the nest and over the valley below. When he dared open his eyes, Itsy Bitsy Teddy Bear Willie's breath was taken away by the splendor of the scene. Everything looked so small. Itsy houses, Itsy trees, and as Mama Eagle soared lower, Teddy Bear Willie could see, 
itsy bitsy teddy bear cubs. Lower and lower, Mama Eagle flew. The bears in the village saw the big shadow fly over them, and they squealed and scurried for cover. They peered from their hiding places and saw something unbelievable. It was Teddy Bear Willie, and he was laughing and squealing and waving his paws in glee. Mama Eagle set Teddy Bear Willie down in the middle of town square. Then with a flap goodbye and a second wink, she left him with a feather to remind him of his quest. She then spread her great wings and climbed higher and higher. Everyone cheered, Teddy Bear Willie, and hoisted him onto their shoulders, chanting, Bravest of the brave, bravest of the brave. Welcome back. We missed you. We're flying. From that day forward, Teddy Bear Willie would forever be known as the bravest teddy bear in the whole village. The end. <laughs>